When I was 21 Yo, what's up guys? Kooks46 here and oh my god, this update that we got today in Diamond Dynasty is one of the biggest updates we've got all year. This might honestly be the biggest update of the year. And this is coming in September. This is coming near the end of the regular season. They are dropping this load of content on us. Bro, I... I don't even know where to begin. Actually, I do know where to begin. Let's take a look at the new 99 overall in the ticket counter. So last week they said that we are definitely getting a 99 overall card in the ticket counter. So if we go over there and we go in there, we can see it is 99 overall Carlos Beltran. This was probably to me, at least to me, the best card in the game in MLB 16. And let's take a look at the stats and you guys can tell me, do uh do you think this is like one of the best cards in MLB 17? Because I think this is one of the best cards in the game. Carlos Beltran, absolutely insane numbers. 81, 84 contact, 99, 95 power with 80 vision, 95 discipline, 99 clutch, 82 fielding with 74 arm strength, 83 speed, 97 stealing. The, you just don't get much better than this Carlos Beltran. He doesn't have any of the first pitch or two strike quirks or anything like that. So it's pretty much just his attributes or what makes him good. But please do not forget, Carlos Beltran is a switch hitter. That is so big in this year's game because you can't see if you're facing a lefty or righty beforehand. So having that switch hitter there so you know you're good against either arm slot that you face, that's a huge advantage. Also, personally, I just love Carlos Beltran in MLB The Show 17. His 93 card is like one of my favorite cards in the game. That card just literally rakes. So now that we have a 99 overall Carlos Beltran, even better than that 93, I am hyped. Now here's the thing. You have to be a 99 overall diamond level, at least in your universal profile to get this card. And he also costs 15,000 tickets. That is a lot of tickets. I had over 20,000, so I went ahead and bought him because you, this card you simply just cannot miss. So yes, Carlos Beltran, one of the best cards in the game, available on the ticket counter. Highly, highly, highly recommend you add this guy to your inventory if you have the chance. But also, let's take a look at some of the other things we got in the game today as well. So there's more ticket counter players that they added, more postseason cards. So if we go two guys to the right, we've got Kelvin Herrera, flashback from 2015 postseason with the Royals. Woo! 89, 93 hits in case per nine. 99 velocity, four seam, two seam, change up, slider, curve. I might have to pick this card up. It's the ticket counter is gonna make me go broke, dude. There's also two more new cards that haven't populated in the ticket counter yet, but we've got 92 overall postseason John Lester, and we've also got 89 overall gold JJ Hardy. Both of those are gold level zero rewards, so hopefully they will pop up soon in the ticket counter and we'll be able to take a look at their stats. So next up, we also got some new packs. We've got postseason packs. They cost 20,000 stubs a piece. That is a lot of stubs, but it contains four player items, including one guaranteed postseason player. Now, I think the wording here is a little bit messed up because that just says it's guaranteed one postseason series player, but on the show Nation, it reads this. In the show shop, the new postseason pack guarantees one new postseason flashbacker legend. We should mention all 11 postseason series items in this pack are diamond or gold rarity. In the postseason pack, you can find these newly released player cards, which we will go over in a second. So you're at least guaranteed a gold in these packs for 20,000 stubs a piece, but that is a very, very, very big risk opening that for just a barely a guaranteed gold. But also you gotta think about, you might need some of these postseason players in order to complete the postseason programs coming out soon. I thought those would be coming out today as well, but I guess I was a little bit wrong about that. But these postseason packs are pricey. Let's go over the cards that you can actually get in these postseason packs. First guy we've got, Marco Estrada from the Blue Jays. 91 hits per nine, 82 break with a four seam, a change, a cutter, and a curveball. We've also got 89 overall Will Clark uh, postseason card from the 2000 season, 97-95 against righties with 82 vision. Pretty low fielding and speed, but he's a first baseman, big lefty bat. Colby Rasmus, 89 overall postseason card from 2015, 99 power against righties, 84 arm strength, really good outfield card right here. Now we're getting into the diamonds, boys. 93 overall Salvador Perez, 2015 postseason card. 
the hitting numbers are okay, you know, 83 power against righties, that's pretty good, 79 vision is not bad, but the fielding, beautiful bro, 90 fielding, 84 arm strength, 88 arm accuracy, the reaction is 65 and the blocking is 75, still is not enough for me to like go out and pay big bucks for a catcher. Here's a 94 overall Burt Blylevin. This card really doesn't interest me because we already have a 99 Burt Blylevin in the game. He's got uh, 78 hits per 9, 89 Ks per 9, 96 clutch, 97 break, 4 seam, 12 6, curveball, uh, 2 seam fastball with him. We've also got postseason flashback Jack Morris, 94 overall diamond. He's got a 4 seam, a fork ball, a change up slider, and a 2 seam. Uh, 89 break is pretty good, 81 74 in the per 9. It's not bad. Nice little right handed arm. I knew that he was going to get a diamond card eventually he already had a bronze and i'm pretty sure he has a silver but dante bichette 95 overall diamond 95 postseason card 92 91 contact 88 uh, 95 power with 71 vision 98 clutch so you know he's going to be doing good with runners on base 70 arm strength 62 speed this is more of just a big time bat this is a lot like kind of like a matt holiday type of card got another new reliever right here raleigh fingers 95 overall diamond he's got a sinker a slider and a four seam uh, 91 case per nine, really, really good. 93 breaks, 79 velocity. Pretty solid right-handed arm right here. I would recommend him. He's got a sinker and a slider. Pretty good. Here's one that a lot of my Giants fans are going to be excited about. 95 overall Sergio Romo from the 2012 postseason. 95 hits per nine and 87 Ks per nine. 99 break with 57 velocity. He's got a slider, a four seam, a sinker, and a changeup. I really, really am digging this card so far. The, the stats are really good. The per nines are good. The break is really good, and I like the pitch selection. Here's one I wasn't really expecting. 2016 postseason card, Cody Allen from the Indians. 95 overall diamond. Beautiful hits from Case per nine. 97, 99 per nines. 81, 89 velocity. He's got a four seam, a curve, and a change. The pitch repertoire is just not the best, but the stats and the attributes, really solid. And last but not least, we got a 99 overall Oral Hershiser in the game. Sinker, curveball, cutter, change up, four seam. Excellent pitch selection right there. 91 79 per nines. He's got 99 stamina too. This guy is not going to need to come out of the game in any time in the early innings. 84 break with 70 velocity. This dude's a stud, man. I love his pitches. I love his attributes. I would probably grab this pitcher if I had the stubs for him. So that is not nearly all the stuff they added in today. We have tons of new stuff to go over. They also updated the Battle Royale reward system. So you know how it used to be, you know, three wins, you'd get a, a bronze, six wins, you get a silver, nine wins, you get a gold. 12 wins you get a diamond well now it's updated to that three wins is a silver six wins you're getting a gold nine wins you're getting a 90 to a 98 overall diamond and then 12 wins you're getting a 94 to a 99 so even if you get nine wins in battle royale you're getting yourself a diamond they are really really wanting you to get these diamond cards there's going to be so many stacked teams now because a lot of people can get to nine wins in battle royale i'm not saying it's the easiest thing in the world but a lot of people get to nine wins but they don't always finish to get the 12 and 0 or the 12 and 1 so now a lot of people are going to be able to get diamonds a little bit easier let's talk about a couple of the new battle royale rewards that they added into the game today as well right here we've got 88 overall jack morris he also got a diamond card today it's crazy that he got two cards in one day but good for him right this card you can get as a six game reward in battle royale now and you can also get yourself this 88 overall chris young 87 95 against lefties 45 vision is pretty low but he's also really good in the field and he's got a lot of speed so this is also a six game reward in battle royale now and now we also got a new roy oswalt card he's this is i believe his third card in the game and maybe his fourth but he's got the program reward he's got the 88 or 89 overall gold from the event a couple a couple events ago and now he's got a 95 overall diamond card guys 82 76 per nines 90 89 velocity and break four seam sinker 12 six slider change up not bad for roy oswald this is a 12 game reward not a flawless reward just if you win 12 games you have the chance to get this card but that's not even it so you know how there's the difference between the 12 and 0 rewards and then the 12 win rewards the 12 and 0 rewards are the ones that you get for the completely perfect battle royale run so it's stuff like the Tulowitzki or the 99 harper or the bagwell well now they have taken some of the flawless 12 and 0 rewards and they have made them just 12 win rewards so you don't need to go 12 and 0 to get some of these rewards you can get them just by going 12 and 1 so the 
Eric Gagne, the Jason Giambi, the Joey Votto, and the 95 Posada that you could get as the flawless rewards are now just 12 win rewards. So you don't need to go 12-0 to get those guys anymore. Now, we also, in the game, we have a new event starting tomorrow. This is going to be the Silver Bronze event. Now, it's pretty much just what it sounds like. Compile your team of Silver and Bronze players. I'm going to make a separate video just covering the info on this event. I'm going to talk about the reward system. I'm going to talk about what the event entails how long the games are, all the information you need to know, that will be in another video up today on the channel as well. So if you're not going to be at your console today and you want to keep up with that, make sure you hit that sub button so you don't miss anything. But the last thing I'm going to go over is I'm going to go over the show mailbag that they dropped on the website today. The first thing that says, the current ranked seasons ends tonight, right? Yes, on Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. Pacific, we will begin payouts for ranked season monuments on Thursday, and the new ranked season clubhouse can begin with another 99 overall World Series reward. So if you haven't made World Series yet, you are literally down to like the last day. You gotta go. Will you continue to add new flawless rewards to Battle Royale moving forward? Yes, at least for the next several months. So we're still gonna be getting flawlesses. And lastly, when will the postseason programs arrive? We are planning to release both programs on next Friday, September 22nd. But remember, all live content plans are subject to change. Now, they probably will stick with the September 22nd day for that, but we may even get them this Friday. You may get them next Tuesday. I don't know, but I feel like they probably want to focus on the event and some of these new things they added, so we'll probably see the postseason programs next Friday. But there you guys have it. <laughs> What an update, man. The new cards they've added into the game, the new update to the Battle Royale system, pretty, all the new stuff they brought in today, man. Absolutely huge update. I'm very happy with it. I've got Carlos Beltran now. I've got to figure out how to incorporate him in my lineup. It's going to be kind of tough, but we're going to figure it out. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed. Like I said, make sure you tune back on the channel again today for uh, info on the Silver Bronze event. Also, if you are excited about this new update and you're excited about the new cards, Hit that thumbs up button down on this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.